Hi, this is Harold Szymanski for 360 Chestnut. I'm here in Boston, Mass. on a beautiful project, a deep energy retrofit with the architect, Bill Beam. And Bill, before we get started, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your background, how you got where you are, that sort of thing. Okay, sure. I uh, got interested in the environment and energy and architecture during my undergraduate architectural experience in Colorado a long time ago that goes back to the late 70s and the first oil crisis and at that that is when a lot as you know a lot of the early experimentation and research was done on insulation solar and to make a long story short we're kind of now coming back and advancing that early research super insulation was really experimented with back then and now what you're seeing here the deep energy retrofit is all about super insulation and uh, air tightness and high efficiency equipment. Uh, so that's a little bit. I then worked for the city of Boston for several years in affordable housing. Mm -hmm. I do a mix of community-based architecture and residential high energy uh, renovations. And in the past, I know you've done LEED certified project, you've done Energy Star certified projects, even pa near passive house projects. I mean, is, is that become something of your focus now or? Uh... Yeah, all of my residential additions and renovations are extremely energy efficient. Not all of them reach this standard. In renovation work in general, there's a lot of challenges to making a very energy efficient home but there's also a lot of opportunities. It, it's the, especially when you're doing major additions or renovations, it's the time when you're opening up the house and is the time to do more than just the attic insulation and the storm windows that you can do when you're improving the energy efficiency of a normal house. You know what, that's, so that's great. That really prompts the next question, which is, the average consumer, you know, most folks are going to have an older house. They go to do the big renovation or they go to do the big addition, new, ki new kitchen. When you walk into a house like that, how do you think about things? Do you think about things from an energy perspective, from a health perspective? You know, how do those things all come together for your sort of typical American home? Well, the renovation starts with the needs of the owners. They all have goals for what they want out of the project. So the first thing is to meet the practical and uh, useful desires of the client. There's the aesthetic factors of an older home that has a strong aesthetic that you need to work with. The energy efficiency is built in. I don't come to a client and say, how would you like to have a green home? I'm gonna give them a green home, whether they know it or not, or whether they want it or not. The difference is when you work with people like the Rosie Kessels who are committed to a very environmental lifestyle, you're going to see the urban farm here and all kinds of things going on inside their house and their life. Clients like that are really looking to, to push the envelope on energy efficiency, which is what the Deep Energy Retrofit program is all about. Okay. In fact, why don't you take a minute and just tell us, you know, what is, what is, how would you define a Deep Energy Retrofit, and then what is a program for a Deep Energy Retrofit? actually look like right. in terms of incentives and rebates? And sure. Things. I don't know the origin of the term Deep Energy Retrofit, but it kind of says it all. It's if you're retrofitting a home, deep energy retrofit is, means you go deeper than the standard retrofit blowing insulation in the wall. So you're going deeper. The utility program and Building Science Corporation got together to pioneer this program I think three or four years ago. And the idea was that can they push energy, deep energy retrofits in the consumer marketplace by giving a large amount of subsidy. Okay. So the deep energy retrofit will subsidize up to, I believe it's $42,000 towards your renovation, which is a lot of money. Now that doesn't pay for the entire project in any case because uh, there's a lot, just the standard renovation, that pays towards the incremental increases in energy efficiency that you're doing in the renovation beyond what you would be doing to meet code or even to meet an ENERGY STAR standard. In this particular house, we're achieving, this is a partial retrofit. As you'll understand as you get to know this project, there was an addition in 2008 that we did. So we're doing a, a series of phased additions to this house or rent retrofits. In the 2008 addition we did, we did not meet these kinds of deep energy retrofit standards. 
However, it wouldn't make sense to take those apart yeah. to add the additional insulation and air tightness. So we're doing a partial deep energy retrofit and we're getting partial uh, incentive money back. So we're getting about $32,000 on this project okay. towards the renovation cost.